So my mom went to Target. And I know a lot of you have been looking for this guy. Look who it is. It's Jack the Hawk! Hey everyone, Rachel2 here. And today I'm going to be doing something I have not done in a while. An unboxing video. So my mom, love you mom, went to Target and these guys were in stock. And I know this guy has been particularly rare. And then we have Silver. I like you, Silver. And if you're wondering about the background, it's because I'm still doing a stop motion. But I wanted to do an unboxing. So... I'm gonna go through and open these the old-fashioned way, brute force. So, for everyone who loves boxes and keeping boxes, you're just gonna hate this video. So anyway, let's just uh, see what we got. All right, get the hot. I hope you're... Oh. I hope you're... I hope your joints are in good shape. All right, so here we have Jet the Hawk, and look at that mohawk. And it looks like, yeah, his feathers are on a ball joint, but it's kind of loose. Uh, so just keep it down, and it'll be good. Ooh, I don't like that looseness. But, yeah, overall, very pretty looking design. Uh, sorry, Jet the Hawk. Uh, yeah, look at this guy. He's cool. He's got the slick back hair. This guy screams 2000s. You just look at these goggles. I wish they're removable or something. So yeah, here we have we have Jet the Hawk. Let's see, nice and tight. There we go. Nice knees. Nice. Yep, he's he's a good action figure. Oh, look at the shoe design. Now I've never. Let me rephrase that. I have played a Sonic Riders game uh, on the GameCube. I forgot which one, but I never had the. Uh, I think what was it memory card, so I never cut kept my progress. Anyway, fun game from what I remember, and here he is on the board. Ain't that just dandy? And yeah, you can move his arms like that, and oh, okay, come on. There we go. There we go. Here we have him. He is riding on the board, Jeff the Hawk. Nice. All right, now we have the other figure. I've been looking for this guy for a while. Tails. Now you might be wondering, but you already have Tails. Well, not this one. All right, so this one contains this little battery pack, two dabs, and of course, Tails himself. If I can actually get him out, that is. Oh, yeah. the hand popped off. Well, this is why they're ball joints, so you can always just reattach them. All right, so here's Tails again. Uh, this guy has his arms in, actually, I think it's the same position. All right, let's see. Once this loosens up a bit, bam. Okay, so he has two open hands instead of just one open hand, which is really nice. And because his tails are like this, you can actually have it spin a lot easier. So that's really cool, really nice. And it's also a smaller set of tails as compared to this figure, which means he probably has a lot less balance issues. So if you're an animator, I think this might actually be the better figure to get Especially because he comes with an accessory. This being, I think, the little doodad that appeared in Generations... Not Generations. I think he had it in Unleashed and also in Colors. He definitely had it in Colors. Did he have it in Unleashed? I don't know. But, yeah. So he has this little thing. So you can have him, you know, looking at his little screen. And say, oh, ooh, ooh, that fell up. Unfortunately, it is seemingly just a kind of very shiny sticker. In fact, mine's coming off a little bit. Let me just push that back in there. It's a very nice, lots of, uh, it's kind of legible. It's basically just a bunch of numbers with like a sound wave. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, and putting the two tails next together. Really nice, the face. I think the head on this one, a little better, but it, it's negligible. And yeah, pretty much these guys are the same. 
and yeah, I guess you could just use the tail for him as balance, but he can actually use his feet for balance because his tails are a lot lighter, so good on him. All right, final guy, Silver the Hedgehog, Super Silver. I don't have Silver, but I have Super Silver. Let's crack this guy open. It's, it's like cracking an egg. Look at him. He even looks like an egg. Look at that yellow. Ooh, it's like a green pea tint. It's cool, though. All right, let's, let's just, like, get him out of here. Come on, silver. There we go. Let's see the chaos emerald. All right, so here we have silver. Yep, that's certainly silver. He's cool. Look at him. Look at him doing his little blast. Gonna shove Sonic into a wall and never let him go because Sonic 06 was a perfect game with zero bugs. Yeah, so Super Silver. He's... I... I yeah, he's Super Silver, all right. I really like him because I like Silver's design and you can get him into some pretty cool poses, not gonna lie. Uh, pretty diverse, though you can't really have him be symmetrical because obviously look at his hands and yeah the rings if i remember normal silver these have blue kind of glowy bits in them and without that on the super form he just kind of feels a little imbalanced i'm not entirely sure about that uh the tuft of hair right here really nice that looks great and his head you can do a full swivel uh, he looks a little more greenish on camera, but yeah, he ha he's like a weird cream green yellow Here he is next to Amy. I know people like to ship to ship these guys. Actually, I think he can He can hold Amy's hammer You know what? This is great. I, I love this. You know what? We need to have silver wielding a hammer Just look at this guy All right, that's pretty much all the guys all the new figures that i that i got thank you mom all right so we have silver the hedgehog well super silver we have tails with the special accessory really nice i mean it's just like look there he goes he's reading his doodads it's gonna off to tell sonic a funny joke about baldy mcnose hair and we have jet the hawk which probably is my favorite figure of the bunch. I'm so sorry, Silver. I love you. But you look like a green pea color. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and yeah, Silver. I mean, Jet the Hawk. I mean, come on. What's not more fun than going, ah I'm Jet the Hawk. I'm gonna kill your ears. Anyway, yeah, he has this board, which I did. I mean, look at that. That's just a really nice looking board. Kind of, kind of scuffed right here. I don't know if you can see a little scuff. The bottom actually looked better than the top. Uh, I feel like this needs more detail, but I can always add that if I really wanted to. The pros of building Gunpla. And his hand has... I don't know what that is. I, I, you can't see it on camera. But I really like his hands, and unlike Espio, they don't really get in the way. And he has a really cool looking tail. Just really cool. So yeah, that's it for this unboxing. If, you, if you're if you curious, here's Sonic next to Jet the Hawk. I guess if we get a new Sonic Riders game, uh, I guess we could have these two fight on the boards. Let me just, can Sonic fit on the board? He can fit on the, yeah, with some brute forcing. You can, you can peg him in there. Yeah, there we go. Sonic on a, on a skateboard, hoverboard, yep. The guy of super speed needs to ride it in a vehicle, even though it's not a vehicle. Oh, so yeah, there we go. Unboxing complete. Thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I hope you like listening to me ramble for 10 minutes straight.